Okay guys, I uh, got this thing torn apart and as far as a unit goes it's pretty standard but had a little bit of a scare at first because if you look at this case it's got the vent in the back which is typical of 1964 to 1969. When I pulled the pan I saw a 1970 in a bow body and also like I said in the previous video the manual select lever was kind of jammed and not working well and I thought ah oh, damn it somebody stole the valve body they stole the holy grail out of it well I looked at it a little closer and no I got it and this is actually a 70 1970 case still has the vent in the back which I don't think I've ever seen before but whatever um, so I just kept out a few things that were unique uh, the output shaft, you can see they put the clip here and they didn't put the governor sleeve or, you know, there's no governor components in it. So they just left the snap ring here and left the other stuff off. It's kind of similar to what, you know, we do here. This here, um, and I, pretty cool that I have this. I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is the tag off the transmission, so... I don't know, maybe you Ford geeks know how to decode this thing. I, much of a Ford man as I am, I really don't know. I could maybe give this a shot out of a 1970 factory Ford manual uh, that might, might work. Uh, so this transmission, by the way, was, oh my God, just sludgy and dirty and horrendous. Very hard to clean up. It's going to take a lot of time to do. Uh, so I just want to show this a little better. It's still really dirty, but you can see that that was not drilled. Uh, this is where your vacuum modulator would normally go. And there's no valve in there. There never was. So it's just, it's hard to see, but um, it's just not, you know, just not drilled. Not a mistake. That was on purpose. And here's a shift lever. You can see that this has never been, there's never been a hole in there for the kick down. So this is the original lever that was on it, which is kind of cool. Uh, valve body is very cool, very unique. Uh, I don't know how familiar you are with these, but this is the boost valve out of the valve body. Uh, normally there's three grooves here. They've removed the center and, uh, you know, this is the boost valve. It's just a single just a single piston it looks like rather than having the three various sizes like a stock one would have so uh, that's unique separator plate is unique um, and it's I don't know if you can tell but it's very thick uh, so it's you know not a stock separator plate uh, servo real quick here I don't think I've ever seen a Y servo before, uh, but honestly, little tiny piston, a uh, little tiny applied piston on it, you know, release side's pretty small too. So not, you know, not something I would say is a good high performance servo or anything, but that's what was in it. Uh, so this part of the valve body here, as far as I can tell, just off of, uh, just at first glance, off memory, it's pretty stock looking. Uh, the only thing unique I really see, uh, this was never drilled. There's no valve in here. Uh, you know, these are normally drilled and has a valve. Um, on this side, this one to accumulator, that was never drilled either. No accumulator in there. Uh, so that's unique. Looks like I haven't finished pulling it apart yet. This thing was this thing was under an inch of sludge. That good old Type F oil, man, that stuff sludges up. Uh, so it was this thing's still pretty dirty, but man, you should have seen it before. You couldn't you couldn't make out anything. So this does look unique. Uh, the casting looks a little different on this side. The valves are a little different. So. There's definitely some things to examine here more closely. I ha Again, I haven't spent time with this yet. Just trying to get it out of the washer and somewhat clean. This is very unique, very cool. 
and uh, we'll be basically making a schematic of this thing and I'm going to run this on the valve body dyno and you know here's the questions with it you know does it have engine braking in first does it use the release side of the servo what's this design all about uh, how does it work so I'm going to figure that out and uh, I'll do probably I'm probably going to do two videos on this valve body alone uh, transmission itself, I know you guys like to know this stuff, how many clutches were in it. Uh, just four clutches on the forward and four clutches on the direct. Nothing real special there. Um, you know, there's no bearings in it or anything like that. You know, just all thrust washers and everything looked pretty stock. Uh, what your typical C4 was like back in the day. I don't think the input shaft is special. Uh, you know what's weird now that I'm thinking about it? The forward drum and the, and I think that input shaft is actually a 2424, uh, which normally in 1970 would be a 2626. Um, I didn't actually verify that, but thinking back, looking at that forward drum and that shaft, it, uh, definitely the direct drum. It was the older style, 1965 to 69, forward and direct drums in it, uh, which is weird because this is a 70 and up transmission. So it's kind of one of those weird transitional things, you know. 69 was the last year for one style, and you know, kind of like Falcons would, you know, 1970 Falcon, that being Ford's most affordable car, they would kind of use leftover parts from. 69 and things to make those and this is kind of made just during that transitional time so which may be why this valve body looks a little different the way it's cast uh, but anyways I'm gonna I'm gonna see how this thing works this is I'm not so much interested in the gear train personally and you know kind of interesting that they didn't drill this uh, modulate a hole and some things like that, but you know, that's not really anything I'm going to learn anything from. This valve body is definitely something to be studied and just to see what these engineers came up with for a manual setup. Is it better than aftermarket manual valve bodies? Uh, is it better than our manual valve body? So I'm, I'm hoping it is and I'm hoping to learn something from it. Uh, I love to see new ideas and ideas especially from people smarter than myself and I guarantee you the Ford engineers are smarter than me so um, but just Ford, Ford and I have different ideas about things and that's the only real difference but I'm not an educated engineer I'll be honest with you I'm just a kind of an old go by experience kind of guy and self taught so I'm hoping to get schooled here, and uh, I'll share this stuff with you. Not sure what we'll do with this unit. I'm I'm going to restore it and get it working, and I don't know if we're going to sell it or if we're going to hang on to it. I don't really know what I would do with it other than put it in the office or something and make a shrine out of it or something. But uh, just because I, you know, I am such a Ford freak and and I do enjoy this stuff, but. I don't know, maybe somebody has the either the high-performance car or the piece of industrial equipment and needs this. I don't know, you know, and if, please, if you know what this is, put it in the comments because I've never seen this and I have built hundreds of C4s, have had my hands on hundreds of C4 cores over the years and I never even heard of this. I would never believe somebody if they told me it existed. I didn't believe the guy that sold it to us until I looked at it and I saw, oh, yeah, geez, that was never drilled for the modulator. So we took a chance and bought this, and I don't know. I'm anxious to get into it more, so probably be a little bit before I get another video on this thing. And... um so next next video or two is just going to be on the valve body. I, maybe I'll do a video once I restore it or something. Who knows when I'll get around to that. Uh, i got paying customers to work for, so 
Uh, this is just kind of fun on my own time kind of thing. Uh, so, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and uh, uh, subscribe to this channel. So, hopefully, you'll be notified when I do more videos on this if you like this particular thing. Uh, I know it's kind of a specialty, and there's probably three of you out there, but you know, hey, if there's a total of four of us out there, that's cool. Uh, let's let's look at this thing together. It's more fun. So, uh, we'll see you next time.